Jammers, I'm Queen Wolf AJ, and today we Jam Ambassadors are here to talk about mythical creatures in Animal Jam. In this video, we will discuss what mythical creatures are, how to obtain and utilize wishing coins, where to find Crystalist, how to navigate its wishing well feature, and even answer some frequently asked questions. Kitten, take it away. Hi everyone, I'm Kitten. Let's start with what mythical creatures are. Mystical creatures are creatures that aren't available in the same places as other pets or animals in Jama. They are magical creatures that can only be obtained with wishing coins. Currently, you can wish for dragons and unicorns, but more options are sure to come available in the future. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get these amazing mystical creatures? The answer to that is wishing coins. Take it away, Katie. Hey all, I'm Katie. Well, now you're probably wondering, how do I get wishing coins? Wishing coins can be purchased with real world currency in the premium shop, purchased with animal jam currency at Jammer's My Shops, exchanged through trade with another jammer, or even obtained in the occasional Albert drop. Now, Animal Lover Jammer will tell you about some options you have once you get a coin. Hey, I'm Animal Lover Jammer. First things first, you'll have to get to Crystalis, which is the place where you use the coins. Crystalis is located in the Lost Temple of Zeos. When you get there, go to the Zeo statue and you'll see a little opening. This is the entrance to Crystalis. Once you enter, descend the big stairs and find the other staircase across the room. This staircase will lead you up to the wishing well. Click on the icon above the well. Once you click it, you will see all of these options. You can wish for a new mythical creature, preview a creature you already own grown up, wish to actually grow that creature up, or see other wishes granted, which will show you a history of all creatures wished for recently by you and jammers around you. Pink will now go into more specifics. Hey everyone, it's Pink Rhino. Now we can check out which creature you want to wish for. First, select either Unicorn or Dragon. Both of these creatures have so many customization options you can choose from, but with every trait you select, it uses an extra wishing coin, and there is a slight chance that wish trait might not come true. With that being said, Kitten and I will now explain the traits a bit more. Here are some examples of traits. Traits can include things like colors, patterns, and eye types. Each mystical creature has unique features. With unicorns, you can wish for different horns, manes, and tails. For dragons, you can wish for different wings, horns, tails, and spines. There are also rare, epic, and legendary traits, which you can't wish for. They are completely random. For example, an awesome epic trait is twins. A twin means that you will get two of the exact same pet. Isn't that so cool? And if you want to test your luck, you can use one wish coin to make the wish completely randomized. Aww, that dragon is so cute. Now Pink Rhino will go into the specifics about traits. With the help of Leora, I created this chart of unicorn and dragon traits. First, the types of unicorn patterns you can wish for are fluffy, dappled, tuxedo, or silky. The types of horns you can wish for are shining, cracked, sharp, or crystal. The types of manes you can wish for are cropped, curled, or flowing. And the types of tails you can wish for are long, poised, or sleek. The types of dragon patterns you can wish for are speckled, leviathan, avian, jet-streamed, or nova. The types of horns you can wish for are broken, sleek, crystalline, deep sea, curled, or none. The types of spines you can wish for are double, quilled, pin feather, oceanic, fractal, or none. The types of wings you can wish for are classical, hooked, continuous, battle-worn, downy, or none. And the types of tails you can wish for are feathery, kaiju, bladed, chimera, aquatic, serpentine, or finned. Now, if you want to turn your pet into an avatar, first, make sure to preview it by selecting, I wish to see my pet grown up. If you like how it looks, click I wish to grow up my fantasy pet. If your pet is a level 5, you can grow it up to an avatar for free. But if it isn't a level 5 yet, you'll need to spend a wishing coin to grow it up into an avatar. We will now answer some frequently asked questions. Can I change the color of my mythical pet? Unfortunately, no, you can't. You'll have to wish for another pet or find one with your preferred colors in the My Shop Explorer. Another frequently asked question is how many coins can I use for a wish? The answer is you can use up to five coins for unicorns and up to six coins for dragons. The remaining traits will be completely randomized. 
Another common question is, can wingless dragons fly? And the answer to that is yes, they can. They look like little flying noodles. So cute! Thanks for watching everyone! We hope you learned a lot and be sure to check out more Jambassador video tutorials in Serapia Forest. Happy wishing!